Hello, my name is Stuart Nash, Pop Yacht Sales Associate in Erie, Pennsylvania. And today we're here looking at the Sea Ray Weekender SRV 300. It's a 1986. Comes with all your standard features and equipment. Uh, first thing struck me about this boat was uh, in solid shape. Uh, just a note, uh, the trailer does not come with this boat. So you're going to need a trailer. Also, first time using this camera. So I was monkeying around with it. Got a little wave for me there coming back. So yeah, good solid boat. Anchor, windless anchor. Searchlight. Stainless steel bow and stern eyes. As you can see in the front there. Wielded stainless steel bow rail. Got a little lens flare there. Bear with me. Okay, coming around starboard side here. Might notice that little mark right there. That was just grease or oil or something that can get buffed out. That was not uh, damage. Backside, full swim platform and ladder. Coming around starboard. Of course, it's got, you know, navigation lights. Uh, the cabin deck hack you'll s hatch you'll see is a uh, kind of translucent glass tinted. Uh, got stripes. One thing I did notice, these windows, uh, very clean. Seals look good. Uh, everything needs a good wash on this boat. Um, I mean, it just came out of spring, uh, winterizing, so... Uh, Soap and scrub brush, of course, across this whole thing. Of course, fiberglass cockpit, self bailing, There's lots of panel storage, double helm and companion seats, and uh. So those look good. Yeah, those look nice and clean, I thought. No problems there. Vents were good. I know it's a 1986 boat, so it is got some age, but other than that, it's solid. We'll go inside the boat here in a second. Check out the props too. Rudders. Trim plates. And of course in the photograph section, uh, you can take a better look too at all of these items. Uh, you can see the underneath of the swim platform, which could use a good scrub too, but it's just standard watermarks at the edge of the boat. If it's needed, noted, but the uh, rudders, struts are all manganese, bronze, stainless prop shaft, zinc hull plates. Of course, overall dimensions of the boat slipped my mind here. Should have mentioned this first. 
Uh, center line length, 29 feet, 8 inches. Beams, 11 feet. Uh, gun wall length, 31 feet, 1 inch. It's got a 29 inch draft. Holds 40 gallons of water. Has a fuel capacity of 140 gallons. And its dry weight is about 9,500 pounds. Okay, on top of the boat look nice. Again, needs to be cleaned out. One thing I did notice, uh, and you'll see probably closer in the pictures, that some of the seals need to be replaced. Um, just the age of the boat. Uh, Mostly around the windshield, I noticed it. And in the photographs, you'll see there's a full uh, bimini canopy in the back. Um, uh, I'm going to show you the zipper covers here in a moment. older electronics but all good okay so here right uh covers are good everything zipped up nice and that's that little part right there you see that that's the only wear and tear um but those pieces are just kind of like sealers once the whole thing's together all the buttons uh work perfect uh it all came together real nice um Again, check the photographs for that. And like I said, just needs a good scrub. I did not videotape the engine, but again, if you look in the photographs, you will see tons of pictures of the engine. Uh, nice, clean engine department or compartment. Uh, everything you need here uh, fish finder with GPS underneath the Lawrence there there's a photograph of that I think I forgot to take the cover off fire extinguisher is also down there on the right hand side There you guys saw it. Life jackets come with the boat. Shore power also. Uh, nice compartment right there for storage. That's empty. Oh, I'm going to show you. Yeah, the outside upholstery I thought was in good condition. I would say it does not need to be uh, redone unless you don't like the color. But all the exterior uh, vinyl and everything looked in good condition. Little compartments here. Just need a cleaning, vacuuming out. A little bit of scratch on that tint there to the left. Of course, and the controls are a little bit old. Unfortunately, too, there is no hour meter on this boat. Uh, three owners, but um, the current owner did not know specifically how many hours were on the engines. Uh, I know everybody likes to know what that answer is, but uh, it's a 1986 original engine, so so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay, we're heading inside here. Um, only flaw I saw in the whole boat for the most part, not being surveyed, of course, uh, was the carpet and upholstery. Um, just wear and tear, just would need to be replaced if I bought it. Uh, smelled good, was clean, no animal sightings. 
Uh, lights appear to be work. No corrosion. Uh, it was nice. Lots of space, too, underneath those uh, pillows there in the forward V-berth, or forward berth. Uh, that is a TV, that, that thing right there. You can hang your TV on there. Small monitor will hang right there. And then a little storage area in the back. Moving on here, stove and, or microwave and toaster comes with it. Refrigerator. You might notice that little extension cord there. I don't know. He just he forgot to pull those out, but he liked to run those cords uh, around. I guess uh, just space heater and things like that. Bathroom. Standard capacity tank on the toilet. I believe it's about 40 gallons. Very clean though. No odor. All right, yeah, I was pretty impressed with this boat for its age. Again, like I said, just needed to clean up some of the upholstery. Uh, I'll show you the electrical box here in a second, but down to the right, I don't know if I pan right or not, but oh yeah, dinette table here uh, and sleeps. Um, yeah, some of that upholstery is just a little torn up, you guys. Let's see from people sitting on it. The electricals. And that's about it. I'm just going to head outside one more time, show you a wide shot. If anybody has any questions, feel free to call me, Pop Yachts. Um, phone number is 814-392-2603.